Hello everyone. Um, so I promised that I would do a behind the scenes video of New York Fashion Week for spring 2016, which makes sense, no sense like if you're watching this because it's like I filmed it in fall 2015. Basically, I think I'm an executive and producer of a reality show and think I have like some weird talent for like making TV. So this is what I'm doing. Here we go. This, all, this, this is not water. Obviously. I got into New York. I had to take a red eye. I got in at like 8 in the morning. Uh, it took two hours to get to the apartment I was staying at, Taylor Strecker's apartment, who you'll see in a little bit. And that gave me 20, yes, 20 minutes to get ready for my first show. Not only did I have to put together an outfit, but I had to do my hair and makeup in 20 minutes. Talk about needing to pop a freaking Xanax. After I put my outfit together, did all that, I raced to the show. It was the Rebecca Valance show, and it was absolutely incredible. I'm so into that whole like 1970s like but it, like vibe, but it was modernized. They had cinched waists. Like I, I, the skirt that I wore literally made me feel like I was anorexic, and like that's basically what I go for on a regular basis. You know what I mean? So needless to say, I had the best time. After the Rebecca Valance show, I had to race back to the apartment in order to change for the next show. Which, okay, I know that sounds crazy, but like, you can't be seen in the same outfit. If you're going to a different show, you have to have an entirely different outfit for that show. That's just how it works. I had four and a half minutes, literally. I was given four and a half minutes to get upstairs, redo my hair and makeup, and change into my new outfit for the next show. Like product, like, what? Yeah, with my roadie. Prosecco. Don't judge me. I was in the Uber. I was freaking stressed out that I wasn't gonna make it to the show. I don't have my shoes on because I'm about to run to make it ugh, run barefoot in New York. That's disgusting. They're going out to eat there, yeah? Yeah. Are we getting it right here? No. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Okay, you're welcome. That Uber driver was really nice. I do anything in the name of fashion, so shoes going off, hope I don't have hepatitis B or some shit, but like, if I did, I mean, it was a damn good show. Okay, so I'm here with my, one of my BFFs, Taylor Strecker, host of Sirius XM's Wake Up With Taylor. Check it out. Yes, on Stars 109. Pimp yourself out, dude. Girl, like, please. please. Are you kidding me? Hashtag or like what? <laughs> at Taylor Strecker or whatever. Okay. At Taylor Strecker all over the place. Pretty much. <laughs> okay, no shame in the promotion game. None, none. So I always stay here and I make her go to all the fashion week events with me. Well. No, you bitch about it. Okay, fine. I do. I do. Okay, here's the deal. I don't like like getting done up. I don't like... I just, I do, but I don't. I mean, I'm just not good. I don't know how to do my hair. I kind of know how to do my makeup. Your, I, your fucking nails are never done, and that's annoying as shit. I thought this was a judgment-free zone. No, okay. It's a no-judgment zone in terms for of drinking, alcohol. For drinking, but not for nail problems. There's never an excuse I can't to afford, not have your nails done. I can't afford to get my nails done I honestly anymore. feel like you shouldn't be in my video right now. <laughs> I had no idea what was going on. I was trying to call her. I couldn't get a hold of her. It was kind of like, like a little bit like, I'm coming. We're almost there. We're Basically, running. I was but lying. I was like, I'm two minutes away. I knew 20 you were different lying. Times. I knew you were lying. It was. I, I was given four and a half minutes, so it was <laughs> literally just the traffic. Well, you looked fabulous. Well. <sighs> <laughs> Thank God we know the people that work at Seventh House PR. Yeah. They're amazing. And Dara, really? shout out. Shout out to her. She was like a fashion week, like, I mean, magician, okay? They were shutting down the doors, and I'm just gonna tell you, like, little inside information. They held that show for this bitch. No, they did not. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Did they really? They, it, it was like, it was like, okay, Stassi's coming, they're on their earpieces, Stassi's coming, but like, seven more minutes until showtime. And then it was like, where's Stassi? Like, like, I'm your PR person, which is the story of my life. That's so cool. And then I was like, okay, she'll be here in five. And they're like, okay, well, we have three minutes. And they're like, hold it for two. And then they're like, door shutting, and, and Dar's like, we gotta go. And I was like, she's running through the door! See, that is, is a lie. that is why I ran barefoot throughout New York. And I'm Thank God. damn happy I did, because the show was awesome. Oh, it was so good, right? Awesome. I nearly died, though. Trying to get you in there. Well. Oh. <laughs>
pretty much I know I've made it when a homeless Asian lady is interviewing me. I mean, like, right? She was really weird. Yeah, I know. Uh, can we have a moment of silence for this outfit, this custom Chanel vintage outfit? Can we have a moment of silence for my Spanx? Oh God, I forgot. <laughs> Let's see my Spanx. Let me see. Oh Can my you? God, I'm gonna have to hike up to like underwear. Yes, it looks like I'm wearing biking shorts. Okay, listen. Listen, I love a good <laughs> pair of Spanx. My ass is flat as shit. <laughs> and mine is. <laughs> <laughs> So the next event was uh, at Trump at, on Fifth Avenue, mm -hmm. and um, basically it looked like a poor man's Jessica Simpson, but I was so okay with that. I love you. Will you trust me to and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Side note, Randy Jackson is like my best friend now, because we're both from Louisiana, and it's just like, so what's up, you know? Like, dog. He was like, dog. Like, High-fiving like the whole time, it was like really, really cool. I think I feel like at some point I'm supposed to vote for Donald Trump as my president. He needs to be able to provide better lighting. <laughs> like anybody who's running for president, I should look like a fucking angel in their back. Like, I should look like fucking Miranda Kerr. Like Candace Swanpool. Like floating on air. Floating? Floating on air. Get your shit together. Your bathroom shit together. After the Trump party, we went to another party where, well, okay, fine, Taylor's friends with Kelly Catrone already, but I met Kelly Catrone and she's one of my idols and I freaked the fuck out. Like, she, literally, no, like, she shit my out. pants. Like, you ran to the bathroom. Like, like, I ran to the bathroom and I was like, I might have a moment in <laughs> a stall. You're like, guess who's here? Guess who's here? I'm like, Obama? <laughs> <laughs> no. Better. Kelly, <laughs> down. Better. I was like, president. okay, do you want to meet her? <laughs> and I'm like, what the? F you know her? This was like a role reversal. To yeah. Do it. Like, normally I'm the one that's like, oh my God, oh my God. So it made me feel like kind of good about myself for one second in the night. Yeah, it was such like a baller VIP moment for you. Thank God. I needed one. <laughs> one. <laughs> she became like my best friend, too. Yes. So now it's Randy Jackson. Taylor and Kelly Catrone. That's my that's my squad. <laughs> I am honored. And also, remember how Kelly was calling you Nastasia the whole yeah, time? Yeah, and I'm like, how does she know my how does she know my real name? <laughs> she really is my bestie. She knows my real name. So that was really cool. And then and then the next day, she invited us to sit front row in the Aiden Cohen show, which was hands down one of the best shows I've ever seen in my entire life. Mm -hmm. Like spectacular, hardcore. Watching the show, I was like salivating like a wolf. Like I felt like if, I, okay, if I were to wake up as Gigi Hadid, like the happiness that I would feel waking up as Gigi Hadid is like what I felt just like watching all of his dresses go down the runway. It was like pastel, sparkly, flowy, nymph-like. Like if you were like a goddess in like a, like a nymph goddess, with sparkles everywhere, and you like happen to be a supermodel, like that's what it was. And uh, I wish I could wear that shit. <laughs> Somebody like give me one of those dresses. He was also so nice, wasn't he? He was like the he nicest. Was so nice. He was so like, oh my God, like are people actually this nice? He was like very humble too. He was like, oh, thank you for coming to my magical show. Yeah, and I'm like, mm, thank you for giving me the best moment of my life. So I did have some downtime, and here's a little glimpse of me doing my podcast in a bed. But like good sheets, like some serious good shit. And luckily that they're my sponsor, they sent me some for free. Like, are there no pesticides on the cotton that's being used? But like, I mean, that's the best life read I've ever heard in my entire life. You are not gonna believe what happened to me. Out of my hair. Okay, seriously, I normally don't lose hair extensions, but like when I lost it, it looked like a Palomino pony's pubes. Like, what? <laughs> Taylor! Yeah, your mic's off. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Stop talking or making noise. 
So I went to the Issa Arfin presentation, and all I got to say is I want to wear gingham forever and ever and ever. You want to see my favorite one? I like that one, that little dress. I want that right now. I love the white too. How cute is my outfit? I totally felt like it was like a Serena Vanderwoodson moment. I feel like Blair Waldorf in a Serena bod. You know? I'm going to dinner with Kelly Catron because now she's my BFF. Um. Wow. Why is she your BFF? She's my BFF because Taylor's already been friends with her. And then finally, fuck. And then she I met me, guys. and I she, I, I forced her to be my new BFF. That's basically what I do because I force people to be friends with me <laughs> or date me. I just force people to do things. I'm definitely forced. Oh I'm like, God. I'm like an indentured so, servant. <laughs> Because I'm now like basically sisters with Kelly Catrone. Sister wives. Sister wives. We are in a polygamous community. Community. <laughs> Together. And we got to go to Din Din. Where I learned how to nay nay. That wasn't planned. That that din din nay 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 thing wasn't planned. But it flowed. It did. It's great. You should rap. It's like Dr. Seuss meets <laughs> Jay Z. So here is where Taylor starts to lose steam. You know what I mean? No, no, no. It's been lost the whole time. I've just been really good at hiding it. Okay. Well, this is when you stop being fake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair, fair enough. I, like, I love you so much. And I love these shows so much. But, like, after, like, four days straight of being someone's coat hanger, you just start to... Like, your self-confidence whittles. What does that mean, coat hanger? People think that I'm your assistant. That's because you dress like a boy. <laughs> if you didn't dress like a boy, shit wouldn't happen that way. Are you, for real, you think? Please. I thought you liked holding my coat. I love it. It's the <laughs> highlight of my fashion week. But for real, this was like the moment of all moments in my life. This Georgine show. It was so good. Not only was it my favorite outfit that I've ever worn, like, I said this on my blog, like, if I were a Disney princess, this would be my outfit I wore in my movie. Like, in the like, entire Like, the entire movie. movie. <laughs> the entire movie, this would be my outfit. The sparkly wide leg, you know, high-waisted pants with the Chanel silk shirt with a custom Chanel pearl necklace worn backwards. Please. <sighs> Nigel Barker was there. He's such a cutie. Yep. It was just like such a cool night. Bill Cunningham was checking me out, so I was like, ooh, what's that? <laughs> and if you don't know who he is, Google it.
So whenever I come to New York, I obviously do Taylor's show. Wake up with Taylor on Sirius XM. Stars, Stars one, one, no, no nine. nine. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm always obsessed with doing that. I just like love radio. And I love Sirius XM. It's like my favorite place to go. It's cool, isn't it? I feel like I'm part of the Sirius XM family. You because are. I'm you're, dating, my, you're my sister. Yeah, I'm your sister. And I'm dating Patrick. So it's like, mm, it's like my work too, I guess. Yeah. Right? I yes. feel like I own shit like when I walk in. I'm like, I know everyone. <laughs> she does. Sleep. The second you mention any sport. Well, have you been listening to me? Uh, you can swear all you want. Okay. Are you periscoping right now? Yeah, I'm periscoping right now. Wait. <laughs> Hi. Wait, 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 wave. Wave again. Hey, girl, hey. That's what's up. Okay, so we're all just a periscope. I think that we can talk about that. It's night. So. I know. My <laughs> God, right? Last night was so crazy. But here I am. And I'm awake. fine. I, I'm fine. I did not throw up, and I feel wonderful. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really I ate tuna fish the this other morning? night. No, the other night to, while you guys were eating mac and cheese because I was trying to be like all fashion week healthy. I'm watching them make mac and cheese. I'm like, I'm going to eat this tuna. <laughs> and everyone's been commenting on my Instagram and everything being like, you got your lips done. Too much plastic surgery. And I'm like, not yet, but I will. I'm going <laughs> to. I do wish I lived here, but it's like so effing expensive. Um, like, I, I just like, and if I could make my living out here, yeah. I will. I I would be here in a heartbeat. Right. I know. New York is my city. I feel at home. My personal favorite way to end things is to imitate Stephen Hawking's. Wait. Hawking. Hawking. Stephen Hawking. Whatever. Like is being Stephen Hawking's or Hawking. 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 Drinks and Periscope aside, my favorite way to end a party is to imitate Stephen Hawking talking dirty. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I can try and do it. Wait, hold on. Hello. Wait. I want to stick my dick. I want to lift your dress up and stick my dick in your ass hole. <laughs> Listen, there's a way to end things. Hmm? And by ending, I mean drinking and periscoping. Getting shit faced. With Cards Against Humanity. How about this? Cheers to Fashion Week. Cheers to you guys because I love you and I wish Fashion Week I could never end. I don't want it to end. So should I turn it? Oh, wait, hold on. Should I turn it on the side? Yeah, dumbass. That's me. Wipe it. That's my dress. I honestly don't remember this, probably because I take sleeping pills to sleep, therefore like fucking with my memory. So you're like Tiger Woods. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm like. Extent, extent, and fine. <laughs> <laughs> So that was my fashion week video. Hope you liked it. I have a question. What? I know I like bitched and complained and like rolled my eyes a lot and didn't have a manicure. But like, can I come with you next fashion week? I really do love it. Okay, listen, I love bitching and complaining. I don't mind that shit. I'm really good at it. But like the manicure sitch is like unacceptable. So if I come back next time and you don't have a manicure, uh -huh. I will like, Hire or no, like I will force someone to come with some like like who like Susan Boyle, Robert Durst, like Tori Spelling. No, oh, she's the worst. I know, like that. I mean, <laughs> shooting for Susan Boyle, but it's like well, Robert. Sometimes, kinda cool sometimes you can't get who you want, so <laughs> I'll take what I can get as long as they have an effing manicure. Yeah, Robert Durst has a sick gel situation going on. Yeah, well, black, <laughs> like his eyes. <laughs> So that's it, and uh, no leaving negative comments. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> no leaving negative comments. <laughs> like that's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs>